Hey guys, what's up? It's Carl playing with Plankins Networking, and today we're going to be doing a video for the first video in my Virtual Box Tutorials video series. We're going to be showing you guys how to create a virtual machine. Now we're going to be doing this in Oracle's vir VM Virtual Box. So we're going to open this up. We're going to select New, or you can also go to File and uh, create, it's actually under machine, my bad, and click create new, or like it says on there, you can click control N. So for this one, we're going to name it Windows Server 2008 Base. We're going to put 2008 on there, we're going to click next. Now we're going to give this one 124 megabytes, I mean 1024 megabytes, and we'll give it a, we'll give it an 80 gig hard drive. Now with the hard drives, I do recommend doing it dynamically allocated, because it won't use up all of your hard drive space right away, and if it, uh, If it doesn't use up all that space, then you still have that space on your hard drive. If you used a fixed one, it automatically just takes up all that space right away. So personally, I always go with allocate, uh, dynamically allocated. So we're going to click next, and it's going to finish. Now, there are a couple things you're going to want to do if you want this computer to be on your home network instead of a virtual network. So first thing we're going to do is go to network and click bridged adapter and then the next thing since it's a server we're gonna do is disable audio we don't need audio on it and then we're gonna go to storage so that we can put our OS on it when we decide to install it and we're gonna go to our server images and select a server image we're gonna open that up and we're gonna click OK and now when we decide to start it up and install Windows Server 2008 we will just have to click start and it will boot from the ISO automatically. That's all for today's video you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah.